So f of x is equal to one third minus x by two. Let me double check that. Yes. And one third x by two minus one third. This is when x is less than zero and this is when x is greater than one. We have to be careful about the interim situation, the case where x is between zero and one. The bounds, so zero is between, t is between zero and x and that, that means t minus x simply x minus t and when t is between x and 1 then we have t minus x okay so let's divide the integral from 0 to x plus x to 1 so t minus x, all right, let's take that. t minus x, let's quickly review the integral. Yeah. So this would be x minus t, t times dt, and this will be t minus x, t times dt. Now let's compute the integrals. This will be xt square by 2 minus t cube by 3. This is from 0 to x. And this one would be from x to 1, it would be t cube by 3 minus x times t square by 2 from x to 1. So we have to be careful here what how we are arranging the variables. So we have x cube by 2 minus x cube by 3 plus 1 by 3 minus x by 2 minus x cubed by 3 plus x cubed by 2. So this is a lot of terms. So we let, let's uh, combine the like terms. So x cubed by 2 plus x cubed by 2 is x cubed. And then we have negative x cubed by 3, negative x cubed by 3. So negative 2 third of x cubed minus x by 2 plus 1 third. So this is simply x cubed by 3 minus x by 2 plus 1 third. So that's the value of fx between 0 and 1. That's the value of fx between 0 and 1. So let's complete the description of our function. This is x cubed by 3 minus x by 2 plus 1 third. When x is between 0 and 1. So now we can draw the picture of this function. So at the point 0, as x approaches 0, fx approaches 1 third from the left and from 1 third from the right. So no discontinuity there. Let's draw a picture. So let's pick a and pick an axis. Since a lot of 
action is happening between 0 and 1. Let's pick 0 to 1 as a big interval so that we know what's going on in between it. And this point is 1 third, 2 third, and this is 1. Okay. So what we have is 1 third minus x by 2. 1 third minus x by 2. So we have a negative slope function. It might not be exactly like this, but it's obviously a negative slope function with y intercept at 1 third. Okay, so that's the first part, the second, the left hand part. The right hand part we have at x equals to 1. So at x equals to 1, the right hand limit is 1 half minus 1 third. So it's coming from here. So the right hand limit is just 1 sixth. <clears throat> and the left hand limit is this is one third minus half minus plus half plus one third. So two third minus half. So that's again one sixth. So again, no discontinuity here. So I check the left hand limit using this orange piece and check the right hand limit using the white piece. So both of them are one sixth. So it's here. And we know that it's a x by two minus one third. So it's an upward moving. So, of course, uh, it's not drawn to scale. The picture might be a little off. But it's obviously a positive slope line, straight line. 